The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalo Valunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to lesson three of your distance learning program for geology of basic science with Kenneth Yosibo. During our lesson two, we had an assignment. So we're going to spend some time to correct the assignment before we get into our lesson of the day. The assignment required that we should observe this rock sequence. Now, we're supposed to identify and comment on the stratigraphic principles illustrated by the geologic formation that is above. Thus, during our lesson two, we emphasized on the different principles of stratigraphy. So, with respect to that observation, practically, we're expected to have answers like this. You look at that formation, you will realize that the edge order of the formations are one. Precambrian crystalline rocks were first of all formed, followed by the Agolkian strata. Then we have the Cambrian and the Mississippian formation. Practically, this illustrates the law of superposition. Also, in that formation, you realize that the intrusions occurred in the other. Granite, one. Seal, two. And then we have the dike as the last intrusion in the formation. Now, we have to justify why this order before we can bring out any of the stratigraphic principles that will most likely be demonstrated by intrusions in the area. The first reason is that granite, which is number one, cuts through the older Precambrian crystalline rocks that illustrates the law of cross-cutting relationship. The seal, which is the second intrusion, lie concordantly to the Agokian strata. That again illustrates the law of cross-cutting relationship because seals are injections. Then the third and the last intrusion is the dike, and it cuts through the older Precambrian crystalline rocks, as well as the granite intrusion and the Cambrian formation. This again illustrates the law of cross-cutting relationship. Now you realize that in the way the materials are laid down, the Agolkian strata are inclined, indicating that they have been subjected to some, you know, uh, post-depositional forces. These post-depositional forces could be tectonic activities, where you have the rocks being bent, twisted, and then they could be broken and physically displaced. This caused them to be tilted. So it gives us the picture again that helps us to relate it to the law of original horizontality. 
Now, remember that we are still under the topic stratigraphy. And our lesson for today will be on geology time scale. So, our, our lesson three is titled Geology Time Scale One because we have the second lesson that is still related to the geology time scale. In our today's lesson, we will look at lesson objectives. Look at the prerequisites, real life situation, the lesson activities or the learning activities. Look at some exercises and we shall end our lesson with an assignment. Why we look at the geologic time scale? We should be able to define it at the end of our lesson. We should also be able to align and explain the divisions of the geologic time scale. Those are the different aspects that will be expected that at the end of our lesson, we should be able to retain. Now, to understand this lesson, we should be able to have a good background of stratigraphy and stratification, which was our lesson one. Then, the different branches of stratigraphy, as well as the stratigraphic principles. Remember that the stratigraphic principles include uh, the law of uniformity linearism, the law of superposition, cross-cutting relationship, original horizontality. That will help us have a better picture of what the geologic time scale is. In our real life situation, again, you have a quarry owner in Pangea who leaves a cliff divided into rock layers after extracting at a depth of 100 meters. Realize that each rock layer differs in Rain sizes, in thickness, and rock color. You can see the quarry cliff background. Now, what would be those concepts that are necessary for us to be able to use to explore the geology of this area? especially if it is during field work. Remember that the topic of concern for today is on the geologic time scale. In our hypothesis, you know, it's possible to look at the rock properties and their temporal distribution when we are in the field. It's possible to look at the relational geology of the area. That is, the way the materials have been worn out as they respond to geological processes. Then it's equally possible to look at the economic benefits of the materials, how useful it is. As we go through our lesson on the geologic time scale, we should know which of these hypotheses can best help us to explore the geology of the quarry cliff at Pinja. Now, the first part of our lesson has to do with the geologic time scale. You're going to observe this chart and you will deduce diagnostic aspects that will be able to help us define the geologic time scale. If you observe it, you will realize that you have a top portion that is color variation. That is yellow, yellow color. You also have uh, the green color, which is the whole of this middle portion, even though the green varies. Then you have the third portion, which is the pink color. Then the last portion in that chart is the white portion, which illustrates 
the materials in terms of their edges. Now, this helps us to be able to define the geologic time scale. From our observation, therefore, the geologic time scale is a chart showing the order in which rocks have been formed. Again, the geologic time scale is a chart showing the order in which rocks have been formed. When we talk of rocks here, yeah, we mean the rocks of the grass. Therefore, generally, in the geologic time scale, we should be able to have a whole picture of how the earth history is developed with respect to their rock distribution. Therefore, the time scale covers the earth's entire geologic history. Also, in the chart, you will realize that when we picture the geologic time scale, you will see all of sedimentary rocks put in order and with their fossil uh, record included. Then, lastly, that the geologic time scale is a chart, and this chart is referred to as the geologic column or the stratigraphic column because it gives a picture of which rocks are older and which ones are younger. The second part of this lesson will be on the divisions of the geologic time scale. If you look at our chart again, you will also diagnose that you have the top portion where you have aeon, era, period, epoch, and you also have MYA, which is uh, millions of years. That is how it is abbreviated, and this abbreviation is generally accepted. That is the English appellation of it. In French, you would just have MA, which is read as million d'années. Then the second portion in the chart, you have uh, the green portion, which first of all shows the aeons, how they are, the aeons, the eras, the periods, how they are distributed within the, the chart. And then the third portion also illustrates how the different aeons are separated from each other. And the third or the last portion is again the distribution of the materials illustrated in terms of millions of years. So with that, when we talk of the different aspects or the division of the geologic time scale, we are actually talking about the aeons, the era, the periods and the epochs. So the geologic time scale is made up of four main divisions. There are others. We will discover it later. The first one is, or the first one will mark the aeons. Remember again, four main divisions. You have aeons, eras, periods, and epochs, and other minor divisions. Begin with the aeons. The aeons, easily put, are longest geologic time intervals. Again, aeons are longest geologic time intervals. The aeons also mark the largest units geologists have used to measure the age of the Earth. We have common examples of aeons like the Phanerozoic which is most likely referred to as the fossilized age. Then we have the Precambrian. By Precambrian here, the interpretation is simple. That is the aeon that marks the period where there was no fossilization. Therefore, the Precambrian alone has about three main aeons. And the three main aeons will involve the Proterozoic, the Archean, and the Hadian, the Hadian, generally referred to as the Cryptozoic aeon. The second geologic time 
uh, 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 time scale division is or are the errors. The errors are subdivisions of the aeon or of an aeon. So if you were to take an aeon and you partition it, like for example, you have the Phanerozoic and the if you take the Phanerozoic and you partition it, then you will have error or errors. Therefore, errors are major divisions of time and is most likely referred to in geology as the first other geology time unit. The common examples include the Palozoic, which is the past or the ancient geologic time. You have the Mesozoic, which is the middle geologic time unit. And then you have the Cenozoic, which is the recent, or generally referred to as the present. When we talk of present, remember that we are talking about time that has already been studied and then presented in a chart. So when we say present, we may not be referring to ongoing activities. The third geologic time formation, or the third division in the geologic time scale, represents the periods. The periods are subdivisions of an era. If you take an era and you partition it, for example, when you take the Palozoic and you partition it, you will have subdivisions referred to as periods. Therefore, periods are divisions of geologic time shorter than an era and longer than an epoch. Just like we say that the era is the first geology time unit. The periods are second geology time units. Common examples will involve the lower Palozoic, which is made up of the periods Cambrian, which is the oldest period. You have Ordovician, which is which follows, and then uh, the Silurian. Generally, they are within the Palozoic. That is why we refer to them as the lower Palozoic, because there is the upper, there is even the middle and the upper Palozoic. That is an illustrative example of periods. The third geologic time scale uh, division includes the epochs. The epochs are subdivisions of periods or of a period. Meaning that if you were to take a period, like for example, uh, Cambrian, and you subdivide it, you will have time divisions called epochs. So you can be able to have lower Cambrian, middle Cambrian, and upper Cambrian. Such divisions will give us epochs. Therefore, an epoch is a unit of geologic time characterized by rock formation. The rock formations here, as we saw in our lesson one, different branches of stratigraphy, we are relating this time division based on their lithology. Common examples include the Paleogene, the Paleogene, which is made up of Oligocene, which is the oldest epoch in that uh, in that in, 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 Palo, in the Paleogene. You have the Eocene, and you have the Paleocene. The Paleocene is the youngest. Now, you must take note that each of these divisions must always be written beginning with the capital letter. Even though they are not names of people, but they are important uh, 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 terms that have been used to give a better understanding of how the geologic time scale is partitioned. So the epochs are equally referred to as the third uh, geologic time unit or the tertiary geologic time unit. Generally, we are saying that the epochs are tertiary periods, secondary and the era, primary or first. Now recall that Geologic time scale 
is a chart showing the order in which rocks have been formed. Again, that geologic time scale is a chart showing the order in which rocks have been formed. Also know that in the time scale, there is arrangement of the information from the oldest to the youngest, giving a general picture of the entire history of the earth. And again, that the sedimentary rocks are exposed and their summaries are and, they, and their summarized succession of fossils are represented, then we can be able to refer to it as the geologic time scale, also referred to as geologic uh, column O, the stratigraphic column. Now, the geologic time scale is partitioned into aeons, eras, periods, and epochs. And recall that aeons are the longest geologic time units, while eras are subdivisions of aeons and are referred to as first geologic time units. And then periods are partitions of an era and are referred to as second geologic time units, while epochs are divisions of a period and are referred to as the third geologic time units. Look at some exercises. Exercise number one. Standard geologic time scale includes one. Chart showing the order in which rocks have been formed. Two. If, uh, add entire geologic history from its origin to the present. Three. Complete succession of Sedimentary rocks with fossils summarize. Four, putting of rocks in order with the oldest at the bottom and the youngest at the top. Now, if you look at that, uh, the, the proposals that is A, one, three, and four, and uh, two and three, B, two, three, and four, and C. 1, 3, and 4. D, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Our correct answer is D. So we are saying that the standard geologic time scale involves the study of, that is a chart showing the different rock formations. It also shows uh, the entire history of the earth as well as the sedimentary rocks and fossils summarize and it gives or it helps us to be able to know which rocks are young and which ones are old. Number two, match the following to identify and define the divisions of the geologic time scale. You have that table which gives us the time units as well as the definition. The first is the era. You have period and epoch. Then in definitions which are not in order, you have A, third order geologic time unit. B, first order geologic time unit. C, second order geologic time unit. You have to correlate, know which of the definition relates uh, the time unit term. So in our table, again, you realize that era goes with B, which is the first other geologic time unit. Then, secondly, you have period, which is the second other geologic time unit. Then you have the third epoch, which is the third other geologic time unit. So our correct answer is B. Simply that era, according to our uh, 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 table, relates B, which is the second, uh, uh, which is the first geologic time unit, and then two relates C, which is uh, two is period, and relates C, which is 
second order geologic time unit. Therefore, period is second order geologic time unit. Then C, uh, three relates A, meaning that uh, 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 an apple relates uh, A, which is uh, an apple relates A, which is the third order geologic time unit. In our assignment, we shall draw the summary diagram of the stratigraphic column. Remember that in the summary diagram, you are supposed to present clearly the different divisions of the geologic time scale and end up with a chart which is called the stratigraphic column. Again, you can use text which are very, uh, which are uh, official in your book list. You have the advanced level geology, you also have fundamentals, and you have principles of geology, especially the 23rd or the 27th edition. And you have the Penguin Dictionary. There, the geologic time scale is summarized. You shall look at it at home, and you come out with a summary diagram of the geologic time scale. We have come to the end of our lesson on geologic time scale one. Our next lesson will be on geologic time scale two. Una tege si ma tege yop, una tege minga ma tege nyom, una tege ma jang ma tege ndom, ma ne tambia ninya ne injubia yen, ngani bana ma tege mot, ngani la kiri wa tege ndom, esa kina bia jinki do, ma ne tambia ninya ne injubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne injubia yen